What's up Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. We have some very interesting news that came out this morning. Not one about the Toronto Raptors, but one that could potentially impact the Toronto Raptors. So Shams Charnia tweeted this out that the Indiana Pacers are moving towards a rebuild and receptive to trade talks centered on Karis LeVert and either DeMontis Sabonis or Miles Turner. Now we know the Raptors could definitely use a center and this is interesting news because the Pacers have finally committed to a rebuild and this allows for trades to happen. So for today's video, I want to talk about between DeMontis Sabonis and Miles Turner, which two of these big men fit the Raptors system better and has a bigger impact. So if you guys want to like this video, that would be amazing. If you guys want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome as well. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, as you guys know, I do like to give a shout out on this channel. So Phil Gaps gets a shout out for today's video. So Phil, thank you so much for supporting this channel through your likes and comments. It is very much appreciated. And let's talk about DeMontis Sabonis first. And when you take a look at DeMontis Sabonis' statistics, we know the Raptors have been in a need for a taller center. So he fits that need. As you see there, he's listed at 6'11", 240 pounds, and weighs a little bit more than Cam Birch, who's I believe is at 228 pounds. And he's still a fairly young player. So he's 25 years old. He fits in with our timeline well. And when you take a look at his statistics there, rebounds is what really stands out to me. 12 rebounds. Per game is huge for the Raptors because although the Raptors are a really good rebounding team this season, they can always use more rebounds. It just leads to more possessions offensively and defensively as well. And he obviously provides some scoring as well. And although the Raptors starters are great at getting their points, it never hurts to have your center player who can definitely get his own points as well. Now, the big thing I want to talk about here is his assist. As you see there, he's averaging about 4.1 assists this season which is big for the raptors because we know the raptors don't really move the ball all that well and this is evident by where the raptors are ranked in the league they're at the bottom of the league nearly at the bottom of the league besides oklahoma city thunder there's no team in the nba that passes the ball worse than the raptors and it's not it's not that the raptors don't pass the ball i just think they play a lot of iso ball so essentially you have demontre sabonis come in and he has the impact much like think of Marc Gasol. Now, I don't want to say he's going to have the same defensive impact, but obviously in terms of passing ability, we all remember what Marc Gasol was able to do for guys like Pascal Siakam and other players as well, just in terms of moving the ball, really get the ball moving. And it'll be nice to have that center, really someone who can move the ball well and not just look for his own shot. So I think you would essentially bring in DeMontis Sabonis, who provides a lot more assists, and he'll just get the ball moving a lot better. So we do have to talk about some other things as well, though we know Demonte Sabonis is not the greatest three-point shooter. And I want to go back on the screen there, because when you take a look, as you see there, he's only shooting about 27.9%, which isn't all that great. So he doesn't necessarily stretch the floor. I also do want to talk about his defense as well. Now, as you see there, the Raptors are ranked near the top of the league in terms of points allowed per game. Their defense has really stepped it up in the last couple games. But when you do acquire DeMontis Sabonis, the big thing is you're going to lose a little bit of defense. So if you do acquire DeMontis Sabonis, yes, you definitely get the ball moving a lot more. You have a, a lot more passing, a lot more assists. You have more rebounds, but then you lose some defense. And we know Nick Nurse loves his defense. We know defense wins games and championships. So that would be the one downside if we were ever to pick one of DeMontis Sabonis. If we were to kind of really be nitpicky at what DeMontis Sabonis would not be able to do. And also when you think of paint presence. Although he's listed at 6'11", and not to say he would, um, he's not a great rebounder. He is obviously a great rebounder, but in terms of him holding his own against bigger centers, I just don't see DeMontis being that player. And I keep using Joel Embiid, but just in terms of other centers around the Eastern Conference as well, when you think of Bam Adebayo, I just don't see DeMontis Sabonis as being that player that can really play good defense on guys like Bam. So I think that's the big question mark I would have if we were to acquire DeMontis Sabonis. Obviously, he does bring a lot of assets to the Raptors, but his defense is the big question mark. Now, let's talk about Miles Turner, who we know the Raptors fans absolutely love and have been wanting him on the Raptors for a few seasons now. Now, much like DeMontis Sabonis, as you see there, he's listed at 6'11". Now, obviously, the heights, you could say, you know, with shoes, without shoes. Some sites have him listed at 7 feet. But he's 250 pounds, which is the big thing here. He weighs 10 pounds more than DeMontis Sabonis. And although it may not seem like a big deal, 250 pounds is the ideal, I would say, center you would want on the Raptors, considering that the Raptors don't really have, when you talk about physical strength, you don't really have someone as good as Precious is, as good as Cam Birch is. They weigh about less than 230, 232 pounds each of them. So you get a bigger center, you get a taller center, and most importantly, it doesn't necessarily show up on the statistics here, but his ability to block shots and protect the rim is what the Raptors desperately need. 
we need the bigger body in the paint just to kind of prevent teams from attacking us in the paint. We know that's been a little bit of an issue this entire season. As great again, this is not a knock on Precious Achiwa. He's just a smaller center. He doesn't weigh much, so he doesn't necessarily protect the paint the same level as Miles Turner would. Now, when you take a look at his statistics, they're not similar at all to DeMontis Sabonis. His scoring is less. His rebounds are less. His assists are less. But the one thing I really like about Miles Turner is the fact that he can shoot that three-point ball, as you see there by his numbers. 39.5% is what he's shooting from the three-point line, which is big for the Raptors because... Again, when we talk about some of the centers we've had in the past, you take a look at Marc Gasol and how much that really spaced the floor for guys like Pascal Siakam and even anyone who really wanted to attack the basket. You essentially, when you have a stretch big, that really allows you to pull out the opponent's big man out of the paint and it opens up spots for other guys. So his three-point shot block, his three-point shooting ability would be amazing for the Raptors. That is the one bonus. And obviously, Miles Turner is the better defensive player. When you talk about DeMontis and Miles Turner, there's no doubt about that. The Miles Turner is a better defensive player. And I do want to take a look at the blocks here as well. Again, when you take a look at the statistics of where the Raptors are ranked in the league, 4.5 blocks per game. Obviously, you could attribute a bit of that to Chris Boucher, who's been struggling this season, but he still gets his blocks. So the thought of having Miles Turner and Chris Boucher out there, and unless we trade Chris Boucher in that trade, would be absolutely amazing. You'd just have shots flying all over the floor with the block shots and the rim protection we would have. So I think that is one of the bonuses that you would take with Miles Turner over DeMontis Sabonis is his ability to shoot the three-point ball and also his ability to shot the, block the shots as well as just being a more bigger body and being a physical paint presence would be big for the Raptors. Now, I do want to go a little bit in-depth when you talk about the numbers here, and I want to take a look at the more detailed impact numbers that no one really talks about. And that is that per 100 possessions. So the one at the top is DeMontis Sabonis. The one at the bottom is Miles Turner. So I talked about defense. Now, when you take a look at the defensive rating, it's essentially the amount of points a player allows per 100 possessions. So as you see there, DeMontis Sabonis for his career is about 107. And you take a look at Miles Turner, it's 108, 104, excuse me. And it's actually quite surprising that Miles Turner, although his numbers may not show it, as you saw, his point production is a little bit low compared to DeMontis's offensive rating is not too, too far off when you talk about the two players and the impact they have offensively. And again, you take a look at their numbers per 100 possession. I'm actually surprised to see Miles Turner for the first at least couple seasons. He's 22.5 points, 23.1 points per 100 possession. So just in terms of that and the statistic that I didn't really get to talk about was the blocks. And that is with Miles Turner. You notice the huge difference there. Now, when you go to DeMontis's career and the amount of blocks he's getting per 100 possession, he's only average one season where he's getting one block per 100 possession. But Miles Turner, on the other hand, you take a look at his career and the impact that he has, the blocks per game he has, or I should say the blocks per 100 possession. And that is huge for the Raptors. As I talked about, just having that paint presence that can really protect the rim would be huge for the Raptors because we know the Raptors really overhelp with their defense, double team and everything. And having someone like Miles Turner would be huge. So that and as i touched upon earlier his ability to shoot the three-point ball now as we saw there early when the raptors did play the indiana pacers demontis can definitely shoot the three but he's not at the same level as a miles turner so adding in the fact that his defense is better his ability to block shots is better he's a bigger body he's uh he's able to stretch the floor which would be huge for guys like scotty barnes as well as pascal siakam ultimately you do have to question which player you would take obviously defensive wise you take Miles Turner. If you're looking at passing and scoring wise, you would take DeMontis Sabonis. But for those of you who may think, you know what, defense isn't that big of a deal. It's only the defensive rating between the two players is only three. But this is the impact that the Raptors where would be if we allowed three more points per game. So you take a look at where the Raptors are currently. Those are the amount of points they're allowing per game, 105.1. And if they were, let's say, allowing three more points per game, they would be essentially where Oklahoma City Thunder are right now. So it is a huge drop off in just the three points. But I do want to ask you guys, do you guys agree with my take on Miles Turner being the better fit over DeMontis Sabonis? Or would you take DeMontis Sabonis over Miles Turner? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, guys, I do have a trivia question for you today. And that trivia question is the fewest amount of points the Raptors have ever scored in one game came against which team? Is it A, Timberwolves? Is it B, Wizards? Is it C, 76ers? Or is it D, the Pistons. So the first person to answer this correctly in the comments section gets a shout out and I will be providing a bonus clip for you guys. So it's a video of what you saw last game against against the Washington Wizards and Fred Van Vliet was doing some magic there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll drop this clip for you guys and I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Fred 
Spins. Gafford right there behind the back. Now driving. Spins. Loses it. Keeps it. Oh, Fred Van Vliet, Rockford's finest. Spinning around the back. Put it back up and through. And you see Fred right here. Got them all spinning around, not knowing where he is. Loses the ball a little bit. Get it back. Hold it. Take it.